Okay, let's take a look around this uh, N registration. So it's either 1995 or 96. Land Rover Defender 110, 300 TDI, factory county station wagon. Uh, this one's a nine seater. Um, fitted with full length roof rack with rear access ladder. Um, silver modular wheels. Uh, being a proper county station wagon, it's got the proper sunroof and alpine lights, uh, sliding side windows and full headlining and carpeting as well. Checker plate on the uh, rear quarters, the modesty covers, and the it's got a set of full length side steps with checker plate on the top as well. It's got a front A bar on it. <coughs> what else do we have? It's got rear step, um, it's got tow pack with twin electrics and stabiliser bar. Uh, so inside it's a nine seater, unusually it's got the four individual folding rear seats rather than the, uh, the twin benches, which is quite nice. It's also got a set of three um, trackers, so Exmoor trim, um, high back middle seats in it, which are quite nice. Um, cubby box in the centre and a radio CD with um, auxiliary input as well for your iPad, iPod my phone, whatever. Um, right, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Um, quite nice paintwork on it. I think the paintwork is largely original, uh, if not original, um, in this sort of metallic and maroon, maroon colour with a white roof. Um, the front bumper has seen better days. It is going rusty on its front face and on the top left-hand edge there. To be honest, a replacement is only about 35 quid. Um, but yeah, front bumper going rusty in the usual areas. Paintwork-wise, Considering it's nearly 20 years old, it's not too bad at all. We've got a couple of areas of paint loss just here on the bonnet. Um, some light general scratching on the uh, wing top on the driver's side and on the passenger side here. Perhaps a set of um, checker plate covers would uh, um, would remove that. Looking down the near side, she looks really straight actually. Nothing to... Um, really comment on there. Near side front wing is all nice. A couple of bits of electrolytic reaction and paint loss just there and there. Screen looks okay. Near side scuttle corner. It's starting to bubble up here just above the, um, the wing vent but not, um, not severely. Um, but the scuttle corner itself on the side here all looks very good indeed and down here looks very good and along here. A post all looks very nice. Near side door, all looks fine. Tiny bit of electrolytic reaction down the bottom corner there, but not up the top. Um, bottom hinge pin could do with replacing. The door opens and closes fine, but the bottom hinge pin is, uh, is quite worn. Um, inside here, the interior is really rather nice, actually. The headlining's good, all the seats are in nice shape. The cubby box has lost a bit of its uh, vinyl trim just on the edge there, but otherwise it's even got its front carpet mat, so they're probably a little bit... Uh, rotten by now but um, still got those all the county station wagon specific trim is all still in place interior is one of the nicer ones I've seen for some while actually um, near side front door a bit of surface rust on it but no more than that that's pretty good um, near side rear door bit of electricity reaction down there Looking inside here, we're going to have to do this for its MOT. It's going to come with 12 months MOT, incidentally, because that's too close to the, um, the seat belt mount, so that's going to be welded. Um, and the same the other side as well. This side rear door isn't as bad as a lot of them, actually. It's starting to crack just there, but no uh, too bad at all. And down the bottom of the frame, again, a bit of surface rust, but it doesn't feel any worse than that under there. side rear wing is all nice. Bit of paint loss on the gutter edges and stuff on the roof but uh, again something to be expected. Around the tail end, cross member looks tidy from this side. Not much electricity reaction on the tailgate, some on the bottom edge there and a couple of bits of paint loss and reaction just there. In the back here again, quite nice and smart. It's obviously carried something oily or something on the uh, on the carpet there but that's about it check straps missing on the rear door um, all the seats are in good shape the rear door card is slightly scabby on the bottom edge but the actual door frame itself again it's okay absolutely fine carrying on round looking down the offside again really quite straight we've got uh, a nasty sort of double scratch just here on the offside rear wing there and there 
some electrolytic reaction and paint loss here. Um, Okay, and reaction and paint loss on underneath the alpine light here on the roof. A little bit there, a little bit on the bottom of the near, of the offside rear door. Uh, again, this um, this hole here is going to be welded, sorted out properly because it is say near the um, within the area of the seat belt mounting, so that needs to be done. Um, offside rear door is actually good here in the usual spot, and under here actually feels again really quite good. Um, offside front door, a little bit of reaction on the bottom edge, a couple of bubbles just there. A post all looks nice, scuttle corner on the driver's side looks really nice. Um, offside front wing all looks good, offside front eyebrow all looks good. Inside here on the driver's side we've got a tiny nick in the vinyl just there on the um, on the offside uh, side of the seat, but that's about it. So it's still got its carpet mats, but they are looking a little bit tired now in, the, in there, but it's got rubber mats over it anyway. Dash is all nice. Um, I have this door frame a bit rusty, but certainly not in imminent need of repair or replacement. No movement of the hinges or anything, and still shuts the way it should. That's probably the worst one of the five, but uh, not really much in it. Um, that's about it, I think. Oh, we've got a little bit of electric reaction on the bonnet edge, just along there. Um, that's about it, I think. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards, with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.